If Emma Benoit is gone, then no one has to think about her anymore. No one has to worry about her anymore. She's gone, and that's it. Now my mom was there. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, Okay, is she breathing? Yes, please, she's breathing. Stay with me, baby girl, please. I want you to say now, every single time she takes a breath in. Now. 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 I didn't have a clue she was struggling. Seeing her in ICU, she looked broken completely. You start thinking immediately, where did I go wrong? Cheerleader, great grades in school, popular. Not Emma. They said, I may walk or I may not. They said, there's a 1% chance that I will. For as long as I can remember, I have struggled with anxiety and depression. Well, it's the first time I've ever admitted that. There is no age that is more likely to think about suicide and attempt suicide than high school kids. We're afraid to talk about suicide. We think if we talk about it, it's gonna give someone the idea. When the reality is young people don't wanna die, they want their pain to go away. But your story will say to someone out there thinking about death, maybe I need to pause. I don't know if I wanna put it out there for the world to see what I really have been through and what I'm going through. How? I just know that if it saves at least one person or even helps one person to just stand up and be like, I have those feelings and I have those thoughts and not to be ashamed of it, then it's worth it. A local teen who lived to talk about her suicide attempt is sharing her story with the world. One of the things I'm like most grateful for is like this new perspective I have on life. I really do see colors brighter. If we could do a better job in training how to help each other and actually begin to empowering young people, that to me is the secret. I'll be your biggest cheerleader, but if you tell me you're good and you're not, I'm gonna get in your face. Yeah. And we gonna have some talking yeah. to do. I was just having so much suicidal thoughts, I would cry every day. I'm sure you understand. Yeah, I do. <laughs> I get it. It's so necessary that people understand how you're feeling. As you know, St. James Parish lost a precious 50-year-old 10th grader. Your pain was gone, but ours just began. And you can't help but think, why? Why was I safe, but he wasn't? We're drowning out here. We need a lifeguard to send out a raft and pull us ashore. This is not a school issue. This is a community issue. I want you to see what you can do for suicide prevention. Every single day I wake up and I'm like, how did I get here? But then I have to look back and remember how far I've come. And really be thankful. Maybe this is my calling, you know? Maybe my pain and suffering can help someone else. I have this weird feeling. It's called hope. It wasn't an easy journey coming to faith, but I'm working on it.